I'm at, we don't Good have morning. a full Welcome to the Kevin Sir two, channel. I hope you're okay. Two glasses a week. Um, about normally I'd meet out on the porch, but they're lawn mowing like crazy today. So let me share with you a little of my thoughts uh, about unlocking students' problem solving potential. Uh, students and the rest of us will encounter challenges and problems throughout our lives. Some of those will be challenges that we overcome in order to learn, grow, or reach a goal, a math problem or fitness challenge, for example. Some of the challenges come through the everyday ups and downs of life, a rejection, um, an injury, or loss. Both can stop us in our tracks, or they can become the crucibles in which we learn and grow. What can we do to help students get better at solving problems they can encounter? Well, as psychologists and neuroscientists have identified six keys to unlocking problem-solving potential that can help students both in and beyond the classroom. And we'll talk about them in a minute. Uh, they include know yourself, that means metacognition, being aware of self, manage thoughts and feelings, uh, break it down, Break things into smaller parts that you can handle and work towards. Uh, projects take time. Think out loud. Ask others for your opinion. Encourage yourself. Okay, I do a lot of thinking out loud, talking out loud, and this is a good way to learn and to share information and to internalize the mastery of that learning. Uh, these strategies tap into extensive research on higher order thinking, which includes executive function and method cognition. Rather than being set in stone, these abilities can be developed through a combination of teaching about how we think and practicing strategies to boost higher order thinking. Uh, this um, a quote for now is, asking for help does not mean that we are weak or incompetent. It usually indicates an advanced level of honesty and intelligence. So, um, even teachers can use coaching, and uh, here are some feedback tips for teachers. Uh, teacher tips. Giving motivational feedback. How to do it? Get it? Getting feedback is an important part of learning to solve problems. The way you give that feedback can make a big difference in how it will motivate or def deflate your students. Here are the approaches to keep in mind that you can use when students see you, seek your help. In solving problems. Um, care. C A R E. Care. Begin by showing that you are interested in the student. You can care about her or his learning, growth, and success. Confidence. Be clear that you're giving feedback because you believe he or she can do it. When and where. Give feedback that's timely, but not before he or she is ready. Give it privately to avoid embarrassment. That's tough to do. Uh, we're doing Zoom classes now, and it's, you're not allowed to be alone with a student. So uh, we'll try our best to figure out how to do that. Usually in a classroom, we can um, walk around and, and whisper it to the students or talk to them indirectly, in, or at least less directly in front of the other students. Uh, okay, so we have care, confidence, when and where. Um, be specific. Describe specific actions or behaviors you notice that can be changed in practice to give concrete examples. This could be about um, just how they relate to other students as well as how they work in class. Um, next is strengths and gaps. What was he or she doing that helped? In a certain situation, what was going getting in the way? Knowing both increases the learning. So if you can get that, be that third eye and help them with those skills. Uh, then the student can be uh, thinking about how he's learning or how he's falling. Um, listen and then share. Listen first for his or her ideas for steps to improve. Then offer additional ideas. Uh, connect to goals. Talk about the student's goals and how the actions help achieve the goals. Build confidence. Reinforce the student's self, feedback, and ideas for growth. This builds internal motivation and commitment. Reaction uh, is an area, but let's go over the list so far. Care, confidence, when and where to say certain things, 
Be specific when you're talking. Listen, then share. Connecting to goals and building confidence. Reinforce the student's self-feedback and ideas for growth. This builds internal motivation and commitment. Okay. Reinforce the student's self-feedback and ideas for growth. <coughs> so that does require a lot of listening, as well as connecting to their goals. Uh, the connecting the student to their goals. Reaction is the next one. Reaction. Pay attention to reactions. Does the feedback ring true? Does he or she understand it? Uh, is it too overwhelming? Be encouraging, of course. Doable. Don't overwhelm. Identify one or two changes that can be made to make a difference now and focus on those. All right. As he or she tries new things, keep giving feedback that helps her or him grow. Celebrate progress along the way. As he or she tries new things, keep giving feedback that helps her or him grow. So, um, bridges aren't built in a day usually. And so, let me repeat these uh, tips for teachers. Okay, first, care. Begin by showing that you are interested in the student. Confidence. Be clear you're giving feedback. Uh, because if you believe the feedback, you should say that you can do it. When and where, be careful. Uh, find a way to be uh, less directly in front of other kids when you're giving feedback uh, to someone personally. Uh, be specific. Describe specific actions or behaviors you notice that can be changed. Uh, strengths and uh, things and, and gaps. What was he or she doing that helped in the past or up till now? What was getting in the way right now? Uh, knowing both increases learning. It could be that the thing that's in the way is something emotional, which can be talked about in another video. Uh, the social emotional learning or social emotional intelligence is a very important part of education as well. Okay. Um, so we have care, confidence, when and where, specific, be specific, excuse me, strengths and gaps. Now, the next five, uh, six are listen, then share. Uh, listen first to his or her ideas for steps to improve, then offer additional ideas. Uh, connect the goals, talk about the students' goals and how the actions help achieve those goals. Uh, Build confidence by reinforcing student self feedback and ideas for growth. This builds internal motivation and commitment. And reaction. Pay attention to reactions. Does the feedback ring true? Does he or she understand? Is it overwhelming? Is it doable? And don't overwhelm. Identify one or two changes that can make a difference now and focus on those. And then repeat. As our as the student tries new things, keep giving them feedback that helps him or her grow. Celebrate the progress along the way. Yeah, sometimes it's very hard to celebrate it in terms of time. For example, in Zoom class, um, to this i try to create a um, great video and if you like this video uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up and also become um, uh, a member or a subscriber thank you